Hi folks, Justin Hoffman here for Bass Pro One Source. Now, if you'd ask me what's my favorite largemouth bass um, technique or bait out there on the market, I've got to say hands down, it's a topwater frog. Now, why? It's probably the most exciting technique out there. You're gonna have heart-stopping explosions on the surface. It's gonna allow you to uh, fish a lot of thick cover that you can't with a lot of normal tackle. So, a few key points to keep in mind. Now, first is equipment. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to pick up is a actual frog rod. Now. What, I, what a frog rod's actually gonna do is it's built differently. It's gonna have a good backbone to it for those bone jarring hook sets. It's gonna have a bit of a limber tip so it allows you to throw these lighter baits far and it's just gonna feel better in the hands and it's gonna work these baits a lot better. So look for a rod in about a seven foot three to a seven foot six length. And what you're gonna do is pair it up obviously with a bait cast reel. Now for line, it's gotta be heavy braid. Now this is 65 pound test braid. Anything lighter and you run the risk of these fish when they get that bait going right down the heavy cover and breaking you off so for equipment pick up some of that now in terms of frogs there's so many on the market and most of them work really well now a few of my favorites I have out here one of my all-time favorites actually is the live target frog by Copers this thing just is really lifelike it's supple and it's got great hook sets when uh, when a fish actually strikes now another key point is what sort of size should you throw I've got a range of sizes here one thing to keep in mind if the action dies or fish are missing that bait switch down to a smaller size so basically this is the same bait same company so here's a miniature version here's the heavy version i love throwing the big one don't get me wrong but when bites are hard to find start throwing a small one now next i'm going to show you how to fish two of my favorite types of cover for bass um, when fishing the frogs and that's going to be lily pads and slop so stay tuned now when fishing lily pads i like to change up my retrieve style so i'm going to demonstrate so basically come to some pads just going to cast out your bait and what you want to do is actually keep the rod tip up during the retrieve. Now what that's going to do is the nose of the frog is actually going to ride up a bit. It's going to move easier over those lily pads. So I'll just demonstrate. So rod tip up and you just want a smooth cadence to the reel handle as you bring it up and over those lily pads. So it's more of a swimming action what I like to employ. Um, any pockets you come to, any different structure, there's some grasses out here. Just give it some pauses. So open pocket, pause, move it in, swim it some more, and as you can see, it nicely rides over those lily pads with the rod tip up. If you're working the rod tip down, you're gonna be pushing it up and down against those lily pads. It's gonna make it harder to bring in. So, key tip, rod tip up when fishing lily pads with topwater frogs. When fishing matted slop, I like to change tactics up a bit. So, I'm gonna demonstrate. Now, what we've got here is just some vegetation that's been ripped up from the props on motors. It's blown up against some of these lily pads. So, I'm just gonna cast out to a some slop there. Instead of keeping my rod tip up like I do with pads, I'm gonna actually keep my rod tip down. So just above the water surface. And while I'm reeling slowly, I'm gonna give it a couple jerks. So you can see one, two, three, give it a pause. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm just gonna work it all the way across the slop mat like that. Now, regardless of whether you're working pads or slop, it's imperative when a fish actually does strike a topwater frog that you've got to give it a second before setting the hook. Now, when that fish actually comes up through the water, it needs to turn back down with the bait in its mouth. Once it does, set the hook hard, bring it up to the top of the slop or the pads, and just keep reeling in. Once it gets you buried down those, those heavy vegetation, it's going to be tough to get them out. Hope those tips were helpful for some topwater frog fishing this summer. Thanks for watching Bass Pro One Source. I'm Justin Hoffman, and we'll see you out on the water or in the woods next time.